Visual Gallery is a great place to find interesting new visuals provided by the community. In this video, I am going to walk you through consuming few of them. Tornado Chart is a new chart contributed by Microsoft to this gallery. This basically allows you to compare two measures against a same set of data categories. The categories are listed vertically. The second chart that I am going to show is a code diagram. This diagram is basically used to display the interrelationship between data in a matrix. The relationships between two data points are drawn as arc. Lastly, in this video, we are going to cover the bullet chart. Bullet chart displays a single measure and as opposed to traditionally comparing against a single target value, this chart allows you to compare against a number of qualitative measures. I have already downloaded and imported the tornado chart, code diagram and bullet chart and let us see how to use them. For tornado chart, I have a list of part survey participants male and female count by age group. Let me drag and drop the tornado chart. I'm going to start with a measure and I'm going to display it by the group. This looks like a regular bar chart but now I can add the male measure to the values bucket so I am able to compare the male respondents versus the female by sales group in one single chart. It also has capabilities to turn on, turn off data labels, legends and so on. So this chart is super useful for comparing two measures against the same set of data categories. Code diagram is used to compare the relationship between two data points. It has a from and to bucket and the values. I'm, I have a table where I have the inflow and outflow between countries. So I'm going to drag and drop the from country to the from bucket to and the export value. With this diagram, you can easily see the relationship between two data points. Let me quickly also display the values in a simple table experience. And you can also click on the slice to do the cross filtering. You can hover over the arc to see the inflow and outflow or on the slice to look at the do total data values. The last chart that we are going to cover in this video is a bullet chart. Bullet chart is useful to display the value against a number of qualitative measures. For example, I have a value field here and I also have the various ranges. I have a target value, I have a minimum, a satisfactory, good and maximum experience. So with this one powerful chart, I can see where I am at as against the various different measures that I have defined. This chart also supports various orientation. By default, this is horizontal to left. I can also change it to horizontal right where the value starts on the other side or I can say vertical top or vertical bottom or horizontal left. As you can see, there are a number of interesting new visuals available in the gallery and they are very easy to use. So go explore. Thank you.